Right now, we want to welcome our next guest, Susan Wachter. She has served in a leadership role at HUD, and she's now an economist at the University of Pennsylvania. She joins us now from Philadelphia. Susan, uh, the big question for 2011 is, will there be a double dip in housing? The economy, everyone's basically said, is okay, but what about housing? Yes, that is the big question, and I do not believe that is the most likely outcome. The most likely outcome is a bumpy 2011, maybe some downward slides, but a significant double dip is not the most likely outcome. So housing will continue to be a weak link, the weak link in the economy. Is it so intimately tied to jobs that without a pickup in employment, we won't see a real, real sustainable recovery in housing? That's the key. The key is jobs. Uh, the second key is jobs. Jobs is what it's all about. And of course, that also assumes that we don't have any uh, negative interest rate surprise. And this past run up, of course, has been a major hit to housing. Uh, but if we have strengthening economy and interest rate rises, those two may balance each other out. We did have a volatile year when it came to all the housing data because we had the uh, credit the tax credit for home buyers and now that it's expired and we're dealing with the fallout from that i wonder how long we'll continue to talk about the impact of that tax credit expiration that's going to be with us for another uh, few months uh, but it's it is that influence is petering out by the second half of the year we certainly will see no more of that and we should be into a better environment because that's out of the game all right, let's bring into our discussion the whole foreclosure mess that's been going on uh, and really peaked this year. What kind of fallout do you see if we are going to get more putbacks to the banks? Well, that is an additional factor that can add volatility to the market. Depending on how banks deal with foreclosures, we're in a kind of um, de facto mortgage moratorium in many states. Uh, that could add volatility if the uh, foreclosures happen quickly and the REO is forced on the market quickly. But if that happens, that's going to be just an increase in the bumpiness. The fundamentals remain the same, and the fundamentals are improving, mm -hmm. assuming no surprise on interest rates. Right. I mean, as long as the economy improves and the job picture improves, demand will come back. But supply is another big issue when we talk about foreclosures, because there's potentially a lot of supply out there that will hit the market. There is, a, there is a shadow supply. There's a mountain of, of a supply, and it is concentrated in certain states. And those are the states where, in fact, we could have major downside surprises, even in 2011, although nationally I see more of a bumpy ride rather than second dip. What about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac? The Obama administration is supposed to put something out, make a proposal early in the year on what it plans to do with these government-sponsored enterprises. Will that change the outlook for housing at all? It could. It could be a major impact. It could be the most major impact, uh, uh, depending on where government brings us. But the more likely outcome is stalemate and stalemate for 2011, uh, since there's so much political disagreement on that topic. Well, how long can the U.S. government keep the status quo, the stalemate, before there's a tipping point? At some point, something needs to be done about Fannie and Freddie. Absolutely. Uh, but Fannie and Freddie right now, along with FHA, are providing 90 percent of the mortgage finance for housing markets. And industry is quite aware of that, as are the political factors which listen to industry as well as advocates. Okay, and quickly here, uh, Professor, uh, what are we ever going to see housing go back to the kinds of levels that we saw in 2007, or was that just a complete aberration and th that's it in terms of how, ha how high housing can really go? With time, housing prices may very well recover, but we're not talking 2011, we're not talking a few years, we're talking quite a ways off. All right. Thank you for your forecast. We appreciate it. We've been speaking with Professor Susan Wachter. She is a professor at University of Pennsylvania. She's joining us from Philadelphia.